Let's talk about tension type headache. So tension type headache is the most common primary headache disorder. However, because most tension type headaches are infrequent and not severe, a lot of patients will not actually seek treatment in a doctor's office. To distinguish between cluster headaches and tension type headaches on an exam, the tension type headaches are more common in women, whereas cluster headaches are more common in men. The headaches are typically known as featureless, meaning there's not really any autonomic symptoms and no nausea or vomiting. The overall mechanism behind how the headache forms is unknown. So the main clinical features to pay attention to are ones that will help you distinguish between tension type headache and migraine. So tension type headaches are usually more bilateral headaches. The pain is squeezing or tightening pain and specifically not really pulsatile. The pain is more mild or moderate intensity compared to migraines, which can be more severe. And notably, in contrast to migraines, tension type headaches are not worsened by physical activity. There can be no nausea or vomiting and even though you can have photophobia or phonophobia, you cannot have both. The only abnormal feature on physical exam should be that there can be muscle tenderness on the muscles of the head, neck, and shoulders. The episodes of tension type headaches will last anywhere from 30 minutes to seven days. If there are 14 or fewer headache days a month, then that's known as episodic tension type headache. And if there are 15 or more headaches, headache days a month, then that's known as chronic tension type headache. And neuroimaging is not typically required for diagnosis unless there are red flags. For acute abortive treatment, NSAIDs are the treatment of choice, specifically ibuprofen and naproxen, and that is specifically because you want to reduce the chance of causing the side effect of medication overuse headache. Aspirin can also be used and acetaminophen can be used as well. If monotherapy with any of the above are ineffective, then caffeine can be added on as a uh, adjunctive medication. For preventative treatment, this should be offered for frequent disabling episodic tension type headaches or chronic tension type headaches. Amitriptyline is considered the medication of choice and is first line. Uh, sometimes other tricyclic antidepressants can be used. Other choices to consider can include SNRIs, gabapentin, and topiramate. Some non-pharmacologic options can be used as well such as biofeedback and acupuncture. Lastly, identifying and helping the patient manage triggers such as stress can really help them reduce the severity of their headaches.